Well, hello, welcome again. This is Liz Soria. I am a tax accountant and also business advisor. And uh, in this video, I really want to talk about obviously the stimulus updates and also unemployment because I know it's one of the biggest concerns that we are having right now, you know, with our economy, right? So I came across this wonderful article um, about money that has been sitting around um, actually in, um, in one of the relief funds uh, for COVID. And what really is shocking to me is that they haven't even yet uh, come to an agreement. And this has been over 10 days um, since we know these monies are sitting in, in, in just an account there to be used while Americans out there are still, you know, having such a hard time uh, trying to do ends meet, right? So um, if this is your first time coming across my channel, um, please like, share, and comment if you find it valuable, obviously. And uh, I, I think one of the most important things that I want to bring up because I think it's really, really important is the fact is that I know there's a lot of people out there that are going through really, really tough financial hardship uh, as I'm recording this, but yet it seems like our government is just kind of sitting back and, you know, just trying to scratch their heads and figure out whether or not this might be the right time, you know, to actually, uh, you know, start releasing those funds. And um, what it's disturbing to me is that, um, like I say, I have clients who are very small business owners and um, and some who are just, you know, solo entrepreneurs, right? And uh, they're seeing, a, you know, an effect in their side of the business because people are afraid to spend money because, again, I mean, so many people have been furloughed and some people have been completely eliminated their jobs. So... Obviously, this is an economic domino effect is what I call it. I mean, when we're lacking money, it's going to create an effect that's going to just, just it's going to hurt everyone across the board. But here, I'm going to go ahead and share this uh, for some of you who are going to be watching the video. I also have an audio uh, part of this um, series that I'm creating for the second stimulus check in unemployment. Um, so there's going to be a few episodes. If you haven't seen some of the other ones that I have created uh, a couple weeks ago, um, I think it's very still valid information if you'd be interested in watching that or listening to it. But anyhow, let's go ahead and jump into this one. The $300 billion, let me say that, yeah, with a big B, $300 billion in COVID relief funds for stimulus checks. So here it is, I mean, a wonderful article coming from the New York Post, and I will go ahead and uh, share in the description box where if you like to go back and uh, just read the entire article, that's um, it's gonna be available there for you. Um, but here it is, President Trump, you know, President Trump, it says that here that uh, Congress needs to approve a $300 billion in an unused coronavirus pandemic relief fund. Now, you know, Trump said that the White House press briefing that consider uh, redirecting these funds um, you know, to the Congress, and all they need to do is really get it approved. But apparently, as we know, uh, we've been having a little bit here of a game between, you know, the blue and the red side uh, of the politicians. Uh, I'm very neutral. I'm in the middle. I really, uh, you know, at this point, honestly, I really don't care which party wins because I think as far as I know, we need a big major change in this country uh, to make it better. Um, and while, you know, we're in a very bad uh, economical situation, but here's $300 billion. And, uh, you know, Trump is saying here in this article that he's willing to spend it and he'd like to get it approved from Congress. And, um, and apparently all he's waiting, it's really to, um, you know, uh, get a yes. Uh, I mean, an agreement between the two parties, right? Um, so again, we, we're pointing fingers here. Trump points a finger back to Congress, right? And uh, pretty much it comes down to this. Um, it says right here that um, all he needs is, um, uh, you know, Democrats, it says the Democrats in Congress to issue a one sentence approval for him to redirect the funds. So again, what I find very interesting in all this, um, you know, situation that we've been having lately is that, you know, you have uh, Trump pointing a lot of fingers to the blue sign, right? Because again, well, we know he's not, you know, uh, you know, he's a Republican, so this is a common situation. And to kind of try and blame Democrats when they have been trying to uh, struggle and get this running since 
five months ago. I mean, here we are, folks, you know, uh, at the end of the month of March, and, and we're still waiting for five plus months, waiting Americans to get a second stimulus checks. I mean, it just blows my mind. It really does that, you know, we have in such a situation, but yet it's like they're just sitting back and taking their time. And, um, and I want to finalize by saying that I, I do, I'm very aware of what's going on there. And, and, and the reality is it's very sad. And I just, when I see that there's billions of dollars sitting somewhere and they're just not using it. And, and it's just, it's like they're just giving us, uh, you know, run around and excuses after excuses while all of you are, you know, trying to do ends meet, uh, whether you lost your jobs and hopefully you're seeing it, getting some unemployment. Um, but if not, I mean, it's situation is going to get more aggravated. I don't know what, you know, what are they waiting for? And again, it's not about pointing fingers because I'm tired of that. I don't know about you, but I am, uh, you know, and again, Whose fault can we, you know, blame here? It's no one's fault. Let's just take action. Let's do the right thing. We have people in the White House, in Congress, you know, in the Senate, that they're there to represent us. They're there to work for us. That's why we put them there in the first place. And it feels like they're not doing completely the work that they need to do. And it's just, I think my my suspicions is that I'm suspicious that what they're going to do is wait until last minute. And I hope folks that are really, really wrong about this, I think they're going to wait until we get closer to election and then each party is going to just jump up and they're going to say oh we're the one who saved the americans well i hope i'm wrong with that because we need help as of five months ago okay not now it was five months ago we have the stimulus only for twelve hundred dollars and i still think that was ridiculously really ridiculously uh low because there's so many other countries providing so many a lot larger funds out there and i'm going to do a separate um you know recording just on that because i think some of you might be really shocked uh to hear the truth that's right the truth of what other countries including europe had done for their citizen um all the way from providing them higher unemployment uh having them bigger stimulus checks and not making people wait. I mean, here we are, one of the greatest and most economical, strong countries, really. And Americans are having a hard time in going to the food bank because they can barely put any food on their plate and especially support their entire family. I'm a little tired of that. I was born in this country. I'm very proud American, but I have to say when I see these kind of things and injustice, it really, really boils my blood. So anyhow, um, I hope this information has served you some way. Um, money is out there. I mean, definitely the, the government has billions of dollars and trillions if they really wanted to help the rest of the, of the American, you know, um, you know, uh, economy. But Again, they're just pointing fingers to each other. Uh, and it's just, I think it's just the wrong attitude. Um, so anyhow, again, if you find any value to this, I'd love to hear from your comments. And uh, as always, you know, it helps our channels to um, to share and comment. And, uh, and like I said, you could probably look up there, up there, I don't know which side it is, but uh, there's other videos that I have created about the stimulus checks and about many other things that I talk about, by the way. Um, so anyhow, I hope to see you in the next uh, video. And uh, in the meantime, stay safe 